Hello everyone and now welcome welcome to a game between Foggy versus Blade. Um, Foggy spawning as the red night elf over here on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile Blade has spawned as the blue human over here on the top right. We've just seen Foggy and Blade um, uh, go up against each other in a 1v1 matchup. Blade able to take... well. I actually, I don't know, if you guys are watching the games out of order, I shouldn't, I will spoil anything um, else. So, should go Blade on the other side? Yeah, Blade is on the other side off over here to the top right. This is Autumn Leaves, opens up for some very, very aggressive style of play, as, as the hero choices are going to be extremely interesting once more. We, we're going to be looking at Foggy, perhaps, is he going to go back to the tried and true Keeper of the Grove? And then go Demon Hunter as the second hero? Is he going to go Warden first? Is he going to go Demon Hunter first? All of those are possibilities here as we're waiting to see the hero of Foggy. It is going to be Warden first again. All right, so Foggy once more going Warden first in this matchup. And we saw the Warden did do a lot of work in the previous game. Taking down, a, well, taking down every single starting footman. And, and, well, it, it seemed like that would be just an advantage that Foggy, at, at his caliber of play, would continue to just build on top of. Uh, Foggy looking to, well, add another arch, uh, archer here. Going to start creeping out, uh, well, out this side of the map. Are we going to be looking at Militia creeping out the expansion creep camps and trying to set up fast expos? Ancient of War already uprooted here. This is going to be a 4-3-2 creep camp. Not going to give level 3 um, or level 2 as the Foggy is going to go ahead and well, try and purposely not take any additional damage here. Warding now onto the battlefield. Ancient of War already suffering quite a bit of damage as the remainder of this creep camp will get taken out. All right, off to the north here, Blade using Militia to clear out this Forest Troll Berserker creep camp, trying to make up for lost time as the Ancient of War well, was doing large amounts of damage even before the hero was out in play. 24 supply compared, or 26 supply compared to 20. Foggy really not training up that many units, but then that often does happen while your Ancient of War is uprooted and unable to train up any units here. No Shadow Strike. That footman down to 395 hit points already, but looks like it will be able to retreat back fairly easily. Archmage, footman, militia now making its way back over. Um, it looked as though he was trying to, well, feign an expansion attempt, but Foggy is just trying to keep his opponent opponent honest. Um, Blade really wants to get up to level two on that Archmage, and Foggy has no problem just sitting around here, um, uh, trying to deny level two to his opponent. Ancient of War here as well. What we'll see what's going to be coming down as the Water Elemental going after the Null Brutes and these Forest Wolves once more. All right, Archmage will get up to level two. And the follow-up question, well, we already see a tech to tier two. Tech to tier two, tech to tier two already underway. No fast expansions. Ancient of War eating through the trees, absorbing a little bit of damage here. And this is dual Ancient of Wars. More for creeping and, and I guess, positional strategy as opposed to trying to train up mass archers or huntresses. All right, Sasquatch taken down. Claws of Attack plus five. Last Forest Troll Trapper will get finished off here as well. Meanwhile, Footman now running out across the map. Archmage sitting at level two. Brilliance or a Water Elemental. Warden sitting at level two. No abilities used as of yet. We're gonna look at the Archmage trying to put perhaps put pressure down inside the main base, going after some of those Wisp. Footmen are already in position here. Warden does go for Shadow Strike in this instant. And is he gonna perhaps try and Shadow Strike that Archmage? Not gonna be able to easily Shadow Strike as the Archmage is still running off and away. Hunter's Hall being placed down. Footmen not bothering to try and put pressure onto there as this Water Elemental could easily get finished off here and once that water elemental is taken down well 
additional creeping may be in order. Archmage did take a Shadow Strike for a little bit of damage, down to 388 hit points. And remember, um, the Archmage doesn't have that many hit points to begin with, so Shadow Strike damage does add up pretty quickly. And the fact that it allows for an additional two swings coming in from that Archmage is a rather big deal. There's another Shadow Strike there, just trying to zone out his opponent as we could be looking at Cloak of Shadows affects their footmen. Are we going to be going to a Dust of Appearance and reveal that Warden having no way out and Blade actually catching um, Foggy into a tough, tough spot as the Warden does get to level 3? What is this? We're going for an Alchemist once more. Alchemist, the Tavern Hero for some early aggression again. Meanwhile, the Warden now making its way across here. Defend is already researched on all of these footmen, and that may have been what was missing in that first fight in the previous game. Not having Defend, thereby decreasing things. And now we see a quick Naga Sea Witch coming back out as well. Perhaps some Cold Arrows as, as the Warden perhaps going to try and get a Shadow Strike onto the Archmage. No Boots of Speed turning around that corner. Unable to spot around that corner, though as the units are now making their way back up to try and regroup. There's a Shadow Strike. Archmage is currently, well, Shadow Melded here. Are we going to see a Dust of Appearance or anything of that? There's a Reveal. Archmage quickly uses the Scroll of Town Portal to head back home. Alchemist, during this point and stage of the game, able to clear out a 5-3-3 Creep Camp, will be just shy of levels of 2 as the Alchemist now makes its way back off to the north. Archmage having no access to any easy healing. Arcane Sanctum really needs to be training up those priests. And Blade is going to have to be very careful and aware of where his opponent is at pretty much all times. Archmage needs to drop a Water Elemental here. We are going to be going into a little bit of an engagement. A water Elemental quickly getting ensnared. Priests need to come over with the heal as the Archmage down to 50 hit points playing a very dangerous game. Alchemist now sitting at level 2. Level 2, level 1 healing spray coming online at level 2, healing up all of those footmen as more priests are going to be getting added in as well. Naga Sea Witch, Ancient of War, absorbing all of that damage. Meanwhile, Warden still hunting for perhaps to get some damage onto some of those other units. Warden is right there, Potion of Greater Healing and a Blink online level 2 Shadow Strike. Really great at focusing down the Archmage. Um, Archmage as well as the priest is also coming to, coming over to heal on up 25 hit points per cast. Warden looking to finish off some units. Warden is playing pretty much by itself. Meanwhile, the Naga Sea Witch has gotten up to level 2. Claws of Attack plus 9. A great follow-up item here as the Warden now going to be retreating back. Archmage perhaps going to try and drop a Water Elemental. Continue this fight here, but under the pressure of this Warden. All right, Footmen do have Defend, able to reflect back some of that damage onto those Null Wardens here um, as we're looking at more Healing Spray coming online. All right, Shadow Strike, perhaps some damage onto the Archmage. Shadow Strike onto the Archmage as well as the Rifleman turning back around. Going to get some easy heals from those Priests as the Priest trying to stay or keep that Archmage a little bit more topped off as well. Shadow Strike finishes up, picks up the... Well, Dire, the Wolf, and picks up a Potion of Greater Healing as that item there. Warden now able to back away again as we're looking at more damage still getting added in here. Foggy going to lose an Ancient of War, denied by the Creeps as the Sasquatch may get taken down. 50 supply compared to 40. Foggy is a bit behind. Another Shadow Strike steal once more. But the Shadow Strike and a Fork Lightning steal for good follow-up measure. Alchemist staying at level 2. And the Archmage also staying at level 2 because of those creep steals. Great, great job once more as the Warden now looking to back away again. Shadow Strikes could be coming down. Archmage, well, only having 475 hit points. Taking a Shadow Strike already down to 340. Going to be forced to continue to back up again as the Water Elemental is now diving in. All right. Cloak, uh, cloak of sh well, no, cloak of shadows could be used anyways. We're looking at acid bomb, greatly reducing the amount of armor on that warden, causing that warden to take unnecessary damage, and now pretty much draining those moon wells as much as possible. Archmage now looking to back up, uh, back up here. We're looking at an ancient of war taking quite a bit of damage again. As all right, healing spray now coming back online here. All right, yep, um, another another broken for Blizzard. Um, whenever anyone uses a Moonstone during a replay, your time of day is actually, um, 
the clock still the well the the icon keeps on moving even though the the time stops so you can't use that icon anymore to easily quickly tell what time of day it is all right we're looking at um alchemist trying to finish things off over here gonna clean things up ogre magi is gonna get taken down is it gonna give level three to the archmage finally after all this time at the 10 minute mark getting to level three priests are at adept training no sorceresses as of yet and there's a lot more footmen in blades army just because he didn't lose all of them earlier on like he did in the previous match naga see which coming out sorceress is it perhaps going to try and get some slows down onto the nagas or any of these units archers and bears putting in pressure here as blade well needing to try and build up this farm not going to be able to do that easily at all massive repairs underway meanwhile who has the better army to try and take down um, take down buildings that is the question moonwells could get taken down as well as we're looking at the bears while just going to town uh, raking all of these poor poor peasants as they're trying to make their way back out all right arcane tower feedbacking the naga see which naga see which losing a lot of mana pretty needlessly at this stage a point and get of the game unable to use cold arrows or even use that fork lightning there meanwhile a lot of damage being absorbed by that tree we turn already down to a thousand hit points and that is dropping slowly but surely one rifleman not realizing that well it should be trying to take down this main hall here as we're looking at a potential well base race scenario blade down to well 400 hit points on this building here the tree eternity down to well 100 hit points and it looks like it's going to get taken down who has more units as the wisp are now able to retreat back peasants now trying to walk back, are they going to get into a Goblin Zeppelin? That is the question. Well, Goblin Zeppelin, it was hired up. Fork Lightning finishing off all of those remaining peasants there. Meanwhile, we see a Water Elemental trying to take down a Tree of Life here. And this could turn into a base race scenario. 45 supply compared to 42. But Blade is the one with the larger army. On top of that, with the number of Priests and the Alchemist, um, damage can easily be erased off of the units of Blade. While, well, Footman now looking to back up here. Moonwell is going to get taken down as well as the Wisp now making their way back off to the north. All right, reveals are going to be happening here momentarily. What is going down? What is going on? As the units make their way back off to the, uh, off to the north once more. All right, Alchemist heading off over to the top right. Footman looking to finish off Altar of Elders and these remaining buildings. Sorceress and Priest Water Elementals. Rifleman going to be going after these bears here. But a quick Goblin Zeppelin is going to allow for a rather easy retreat. Slow right there. Damage going to get added up. Alchemist could try and land some additional damage as it does have an air attack. But unable to spot that up onto the high ground any longer. All right, Fork Lightning trying to finish off Healing Spray, unable to heal that Priest in time as the Goblin Zeppelin picks up the Naga Sea Witch as well. All right, Footman looking to finish off the Altar of Elders. The Ancient of Lore does still slowly regenerate hit points. This Tree of Life was taken down. And who has more buildings? That is the question. Archmage coming back over here to the bottom right here. We are looking at a Tree of Life that is... Well, being a hidden off Players in the corner of the map, trying to hide the fact that there are well, new buildings being placed down and you don't want it to be able to be easily spotted. Archmage is not going to spot this alcove as it is a nightfall at this time. Archmage quickly checks out. Wait, no expansion here. What is going on? Where are the actual units? Archers, well, going to go ahead and shadow meld once more. Footmen going to get attempt to take down this hunter's hall instead as the archers um well unable to easily finish off the footmen since they do have defend up all right a hunter's hall down to 800 hit points and dropping steadily meanwhile goblin zeppelin with bears and a naga sea witch out and about looking to see what else can be done staff of teleportation selling some items boots of speed as mobility is key right now naga sea witch where is it going to be teleporting off to teleporting back off to the north here fork lightning finding a bit of damage another footman perhaps could get taken down another cold arrow boots of speed could it could it try and well catch up to those last remaining units as bears are now wandering around the, the map still 39 supply compared to 37 army sizes well blade still has the advantage there but lost a good number of footmen once more as the bears are actually going after the forest trolls trying to get a little bit of extra gold as well 
are or we're looking down over here this tree of life is nearly done and it could start to eat its way over and try and actually mine up some more gold hiding a tree in the forest makes absolute sense even if that tree has a face and can pick up and walk very difficult to spot uh, for this archmage especially at night naga sea witch does have cold arrows and so it should be able to easily get away from that archmage if necessary as damage is going to slow the ad back up well there's a little bit of extra damage healing spray coming back online as the archmage but well, does decides to do a little bit more chasing than necessary all right, Bear is going to try to get in position. A Goblin Zeppelin, how much damage can you really do? Another Fork Lightning finding those targets rather easily as the Goblin Zeppelin is going to try and take down some more of those units. All right, this is going to be a little bit of a, of a dangerous position and spot to be in as Sorceresses and Priests are going to get focused down really fast. All right, Bears. Um, a bear with that war giving bonus damage to the Archers. Archers going to go ahead and Shadow Meld right here. Perfect opportunity to try and hide no dust of appearance as Blade is sitting at 30 over 30 supply compared to 34 over 10. All right, some more buildings getting taken down here. No staff of preservation possible. Meanwhile, Wisp now looking to back away as that tree of life is on the move back to try and reestablish that expansion. There goes that bear. 30 supply compared to 30. Blade with a pure army right now. Alchemist on the move, Archmage down on the move across over here, trying to get uh, well, get in front of everything. Naga Sewage back online, teleports down to the south, and now adding in cold damage onto that footman. That footman not going to be able to retreat out at all. One more shot. All right, showing 28 supply, so 28 over 30. Um, priests are actually getting trained up, and now we're actually going into perhaps invisibility. As we are looking at a water elemental and archmage actually spotting this tree of life over here on the bottom right. Oh, that is in fact a very big deal. Water elemental finding this tree of life after all this time. Rifleman now being brought off to the north here as the archmage tries to shoo off a little of, of some of these units. Where is this going to go as the Archmage is now down to 465 hit points? Is it going to be able to teleport out? Bears going to end up finishing off a couple more of these buildings as well as the Bears, well, not able to do that. Um, Archmage able to pull the Alchemist and now force all of these units back again. Water Elemental attempting to take down this Tree of Life. Tree of Life, however, could start to be repaired. More Moon Wells need to be constructed. I mean, that's really what needs to go on right now, but there's just not enough gold. Meanwhile, back across off to the north here, no slow acid bomb going down. We're still trying to add up more of that damage. Druids of the Claw want to be in druid form for rejuvenation, but it doesn't look like that will be ready anytime soon. All right, three out of five wisps mining over here. Perhaps moon wells can be built in just a moment. Archmage now looking to put pressure and damage onto this tree of life again as the Naga Sea, which looking to finish off things once more. All right, there's some rejuvenations going down. There's a roar. Arch are going to get taken out, trying to finish off some of those priests who are now backing away. 26 supply compared to 27. This is a neck and neck race between both sides here. Healing spray on the alchemist as this archer could end up getting taken down. There goes another priest here as this druid of the claw. Well, un it needs to transform back, get a rejuvenation off, maybe even uh, some more rejuvenations onto some other units as well, as the Naga Sea Witch does get up to level 5. Level 5, level Naga Sea Witch, level 3, Cold Arrows, going to well, really slow things down. Rifleman not able to get away at all, as that bear could be transforming back here. Are we going to see a, perhaps a rejuvenation onto that Naga Sea Witch? Bear is waiting for that and going to be able to come online with a rejuvenation right now. All right, waiting for it. Foggy getting ahead of that. And now with that rejuvenation, perhaps going to turn back around and go after some of those remaining units. Meanwhile, back down to the side. Wisp trying to repair, trying to stay alive. Foggy down to 245 hit points. This is the last building left for Foggy after that tree of life goes. Naga Sea Witch trying to retreat back as the Naga Sea Witch, well, looking to well, put some pressure onto that alchemist. Naga Sea Witch is going to be able to finish things off. No, we are looking at a rejuvenation. I thought I saw a rejuvenation. No, no rejuvenation. And the tree of life is, in fact, gone. Foggy does have one one worker left somewhere out on the map. Staff of teleportation. Naga Sea Witch now trying to retreat back. Warden is long gone as we're looking at the Naga Sea Witch trying to well, constantly hide and now getting into that Goblin Zeppelin in that corner of the map. Alchemist down to 65 hit points. Bears, what are they looking to do 
they need to get away and use rejuvenation rather aggressively aggressively Obligate as well druid of the claws should be going back into the druid form and then walking over here we are looking at a moon well being built off to the side and well that's all that can really be done right now as the naga sea which is going to try and get some heals off there bears they're not rejuvenating what, what why not that they should be well naga sea which is going to finish off some of these buildings to take them down perhaps easily trying to spread out all of that damage and anywhere they possibly can one last archer fighting alongside here as well as the bears are now making their way over rejuvenation should already be in order there's a rejuvenation onto one of those naga sea witches rejuvenation onto another bear as the units are now making their way back all right in comes an engagement here bear bear turning back into that bear form trying to go after the archmage archmage is sitting at level three as the water elemental getting well into harm's way trying to block that naga sea witch there is still this hunter's hall here and a bear still walking around here more moon wells being placed down pretty much everywhere by foggy anywhere possible as the naga sea witch we're gonna try to rotate positions again lone archer getting in damage onto some of these buildings here as the well alchemist goblin sapper gonna finish off this building easily and now try to go after some of the uh, other remaining buildings there are still moon wells out on the map and they are revealed but the archmage has now been taken down by the naga sea witch we're looking at level uh, well blade with only a single alchemist left he does have more buildings going up against foggy's 20 supply that's not going to be enough no more healing except from the alchemist and the alchemist no longer has the archmage to provide brilliance aura all right foggy or blade sitting at 209 and i think yep that is gonna be it foggy taking the win in this game of attrition um coming down to a base race and Foggy being able to get a little bit of extra gold, uh, setting up that extra base, and then hiding some of his precious buildings, really making the difference there. Um, the archers were able to easily poke down those, um, those casters, the priests and the sorceresses. And because of that, well, and that, that eventual lack of healing, as opposed to trying to take down those beefy bears, um, that was enough. Goblin Zeppelin is definitely the MVP being able to pick up um, the heroes and some of those archers and then go straight over the forest line, making it difficult to get shot down. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys were entertained. I hope you guys learned something. Um, and well, you guys know where to find more Warcraft 3 action. Thanks, everyone.